Old people, they suck. You suck. You want something to eat? No, I just had a lazy boy. Thank you. Did you smell it? I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Maybe I had too many beers. <laughs> what up, puta? Yeah, creepy. Just that smell. What the fuck? What's up, guys? It's Insidious. Uh, I'm doing another fun with audio, which is where I take a Skype call uh, with a few friends and just mess everything up and make it sound like they're saying a bunch of answering a bunch of questions, which they're really not. But um, anyways, this time I got with me JK Rod 36 and Guns for Show. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start. JK, uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about where you live, man. Most men dress as women. Uh, just about every everywhere has that problem anymore. You don't take part in it, though, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh. Oh. Uh, moving along. Uh, guns for show. Tell me a reason why I wouldn't want to come over to your house for a sleepover. Well, you don't want oh, fleas on your nuts. I can agree with that. Yeah. Um, so, you live in Canada, man. And, like, for some reason, I just picture it being really cold in Canada. And I don't know, like, does everybody have four-wheel drives? Or, like... If, if you don't have a four-wheel drive and it snows like a lot, what's what's your main means of transportation? Ostriches. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop you right there. So if, if it snows too much to drive a vehicle that's not four-wheel drive, you're saying that you ride ostriches. Maybe I had too many beers. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say that it does sound like you're a little bit under the influence. I used to smoke weed. These guys are all wasted. Whoa, whoa, don't include me in all that now. Uh, so, JK, did, like, when when you got high, did, did you ride ostriches? With or without a saddle. Uh, I, I, without, I guess? Yeah, I do. Oh, shit, you still do ride ostriches? What's what's the reason reasoning behind riding an ostrich, though? Monkeys uh, will put up a fight. Hmm. That makes sense. Um, but what about, like, would would you ride something else, like a panda? Pandas are kind of mellow, and I like that. So that's a yes on panda riding from, from you guns? Maybe, I don't know, man. Yeah. Wait a second, you, you sounded a little hesitant. What would be a requirement for you to ride pandas? Condoms. Okay, for some reason I think me and you are on two separate pages on what I meant by riding a panda. Don't you think they'd be a little big? I'm used to the big ones here. Well, it, it sounds like you got a pretty expensive Christmas wish list right there with ostriches and uh, pandas. And uh, But I, I do want to get some advice from, from JK. Let's say you wanted to, to pick up a woman and you was going to a place that you knew it was going to be a room full of women. You would bust in the door and say... No women will go home unpleasured. Gets them every time. Guns, what would you say? What up, puta? Ten bucks, fifteen bucks or something. So you solicit them for prostitution? Yeah. And what's the best reaction you can hope to get out of that? They don't throw shit at you. Yeah, I, I can see. But you, you agree with prostitution? Paid to do it? That'd be awesome. Hmm. Can't argue with that. Um. So, JK, if you had to come up with a... A cartoon character, if, if you had a cartoon character for what you would be called in, in the bedroom, what, what would they call you? Uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Dude, you, are you from Indiana? Guns, what makes you think that JK's from Indiana? Just that smell. So you're saying that people from Indiana have a certain smell to them? That's, that's kind of harsh, man. Which is fact. That is fact. Well, fact or not, that's still quite incredible that you can smell a state on somebody that's that's uh, that's almost like a superpower, you know? I mean, how would you acquire such a superpower? I stuck a flute in my mangina. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm not going to try that. But speaking of powers, I did hear that you were psychic. Uh, and I was going to see if you could maybe see a little bit into the future for us. I see me grabbing another beer out of the fridge. Hmm. <laughs> you are truly gifted. Uh, well, I want to thank both of you guys for coming on and let me mix up your audio. So I'm going to go ahead and, JK, I'm going to let you get back to... Uh, Playboy magazine. Ah, nice. 
And guns, I guess I'm gonna let you get back to uh, what what was it you was doing? Whiskey dick. And that's gonna be about it for this episode. And I'm gonna leave some bonus clips at the end because uh, there was a lot of funny stuff that I didn't even get to use just because I've been editing for hours and actually for days. I've actually worked on this different days, but um, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be about it. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you later. I'm excited to look like an ass. It just sounded like they had their mouth filled with shit. I used to love do, do. Oh my god, what the fuck is this guy doing? Did you smell it? Yes. Who killed my Cheerios? What the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah. it's just too much. The suit had nipples. I love that. It's a swimming snake. I know you're gonna, you know, make us look like... Like asses. <laughs>